Hello lovelies, hello family. This is Kimberly Purpose and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do another interesting video. Um, I wanted to talk about how it's important to be careful what you say and speak into the universe. I know I've been talking about this um, frequencies and all that and I don't know, some people I may not get as many views or, on that, but I'm, no, I gotta watch what I say. Never mind. I'm going to believe that it will, this video will be heard and people will take heed to it. I'm gonna speak it into existence. So um, we're gonna speak positive energy upon this. But, you know, Spirit, the Most High, Hawa. It's guiding me to talk about this because um, I wanted to talk about how we put um, words Let's go back to this page. Um, certain things we say, we speak into the universe. Uh, and it's how it's important to watch what you say. It's like, you know, historically, you know, we're American Aborigines here in the Americas. And we were in heavily indoctrinated and forced to take on Christianity and other religions. Uh, well, by the Europeans, primarily Christianity, um, due to colonization. And we had to speak the English language here in North America within the United States. And since the language has been switched over to the majority, who's in charge, which are the grays. We had to abide by their rules and laws and how they see deem fit. And when it comes to the English language, which is um, linked to Europe. And in doing so, they got a chance to manipulate the words through the etymology and um, the, the study, of, which is the study of words and language. And everything has been manipulated in order for us to start speaking things into existence, such as the human labeling system. I talk about that in another video about how uh, the human labeling system is actually a form of spellbinding as far as I'm concerned. Um, I believe that is an affirmation uh, that you're giving yourself each and every day. I broke down what each race, according to the labeling system, means um, in the English language. Um, and if y'all want to see that, I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again, but um, hopefully y'all will catch on or, or more people will take heed to what I'm saying and really understand what I'm talking about. Um, that um, is, you know, what you're doing is essentially um, giving yourself a negative affirmation, and especially if you're calling yourself black. But I'm not going to go into the race thing. I mainly want to talk about what we say in um, the universe. Um, Y'all might want to check out those, those other videos I was talking about. But when you say certain things, we, we don't realize what we're saying. And that's why it's very important to study the origins between behind words in order to get positive flow of energy going your way. Because I do believe words is tied into frequency and, and um, energy. Uh, I did a video on that about energy science. And it's like... Like, for instance, um, I used to say bless you all the time. I just wanted to give you an example. Um, bless you. And I stopped saying that because um, my fiance told me it's not a good word. And I didn't understand at the time, but he told me to research it and look it up. And so I did. And when I did, I was really, really, really shocked because um, bless uh, means to uh to to sacrifice blood sacrifice and when you say bless you you're actually saying you are a blood sacrifice you know um blood you're a blood sacrifice and it's like speaking negative uh words is you thinking when you say blessing you know bless you or 
you think you're speaking positive energy upon that person, you're actually speaking harm towards that person, negative energy towards that person, according to the English language. If And I looked it up under the di dictionary. It means bless is a verb. It says Old English, blessian, blessian, nor thurian, uh, blessian, to consecrate by a religious rite, make holy, give thanks, uh, protein, dramatic, blessian, hollow, with blood, mark with blood, from blotum, blood, originating blood sprinkling on pagan altar. And then down here, um, it says here that uh, L.R. Palmer, the Latin language, is rights. There is nothing surprising in the sentiment development of the word denoting originally a special ritual act into the more generalized meaning to sacrifice worship and uh, bless and he compared to Latin uh, immolar or uh, immolate immolate so it means to sacrifice in the olden days um, you know it was mean to a blood sacrifice so it's like saying that uh, you are a blood sacrifice and, and so I sort of stopped using that. I did. I don't use that no more. And I have to catch myself sometime um, to not say that uh, because I don't want to speak that on to other people uh, that they are blood sacrifice. I want to. That's why I would say love and peace um, instead because I feel like that's more of a positive way of saying, you know, good luck to a person as opposed to wishing them harm as being a sacrifice, a blood sacrifice. I'm going to sacrifice you. So, <laughs> and I said, whoa. And this society is based on rituals. And, and the more I research and learn this, I, I realized that it is. Um, and I told in another video, I said that we are actually spellbinding every day when we talk. And this is a paganistic um, language. It's based on these things. If you look at the word spell, and I'll bring y'all over here. I'm going to go over the word spell. Uh, this spell. Right, I did it twice. But spell, spell right here. We're going to talk about that. Your teeth, when you, we actually, there's, when, you go, when the kids go to school, they're learning spells, pretty much. Spelling spells, and uh, you know, it's like what well, you know. I think about this, I said, Oh my gosh, you know, and when you're not careful with what you're thinking, then some words is sort of out of context, out of context, you don't realize you're speaking certain things into existence. That's why it's important to understand how to give yourself more positive affirmations in order to speak more positive words and, and these are things are very important people don't realize how powerful it is that's why i stopped calling myself black and that's why i stopped calling the american aborigines black because it has a negative connotation and i looked at the origins of it in the, the, the both in the dictionary and in ethnology dictionary and we're speaking all of this into existence every time we use this labeling system and um and like I said, let's read the origins of spell. It says early 14th century, um, reading, read letters by letters, write or say the letters of century, uh, 14th, and this was like in 1400s. Then it says four words by means of letters, apparent to French words that merge with or displace a native old one. Both are from the same dramatic root, but the French word had evolved a different sense. The native word of old English spelling to tell, speak, discourse, talk, spell them. Uh, source of old high um, German spelling to tell, old Norse, Gothic and to tell, talk, tell, and pie and spell to say aloud to recite. And a lot of stuff we do, we recite such as the national anthem i did a video on that y'all may want to check that out i did it about a year ago i'll talk about how um, they pulled 
it, you know, the national anthem was uh, very racist. And some of the uh, traces of it still lingers within the song, even though it's not as blatant as it was originally, um, it's still there. And it's the same song. And, and so you sort of speaking all that into existence. And um, yeah, so um, let's continue. It says here, the present sense come from Anglo-French, uh, as spelled Old French. So it comes from the French, and we're gonna skip on down. And it says, uh, spelling, speak, preach, tell, hint, such, expression of here's spell. Hear, something told, taught, spell the wind, talk in vain, both, 15th century. Meaning, form words for proper letters is from the 1580s, spell out. Step by, first recorded in 1940, English, Shakespeare, has spelled someone backwards, reverse, character, explain the contrary, sense, portray, and determine negativity. See? And so, like I said, you're formulating these words and you're speaking into the universe. And that's why it's important that you know exactly what you talk. You got to be careful what you speak into the universe. Um, because believe it or not, it can be very powerful and it can make a significant difference. And I believe that's the problem we have today is because we are not cognizant of what we speak into the universe. We just talk. We just say things. And don't realize what they actually mean. But as you um, dig through and read through and understand the origins of this language, this foreign language, that's why it's important that we need to learn who we are and learn our own language. There's power in language. That's why they stripped us of our language because they knew that if we were connected to our own language, we can speak our own original language through our tongues and speak more power into the universe. And that's why they were so adamant about us not learning, not knowing our, our language and, and erasing us. And that's one way of erasing us out of in the existence if we are not tied to who we really originally were. And then it says here, spell as a noun. The whole English spell story says, tells history, narrative, fables, discourse, command from proto dramatic spell him. Uh, compare Old Saxon spell, Old Norse, and then it says Old High German spell. Discourse, tape, um, report, discourse, tale, fable, myth, German to spell from 5th, 1200th century as utterance. Something said, statement, remarked, meaning and words were supposed magical, occult powers, in case, uh, incantation, charms, first appeared in 1570s, hence any means the cause of enchantment. See, their language is based on spellbinding, and you see right here, it says cause of enchantment, and you speak in these things. They, these people have been studying this language, and they... The whole purpose was to incorporate it into here to keep us all asleep and make sure that we are not woke. And, you know, that's why it's important to understand what you're speaking and what you're speaking into existence. And then it goes down here. It says the term spell is generally used for magical procedures, which cause harm or force people to do something against their will. Unlike charms and healing protection. This is from the Oxford Dictionary of English Folklore. Also, English doctrine, sermon, religion, instructions, teachings, the gospel, book of the Bible, compared to gospel. See, they use religion to use this form of spellbinding to put you to sleep. Okay? I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. They're using the words in the religion. And these spirit, these um, Europeanized religion that's heavily, and that's why they love to use Old English because that's where they incorporate all of this in, so you can read it and fall asleep. <laughs> I hope y'all understand. I hope this makes sense to you all. Thank you for a while. Keep on talking. Most high. It says here. 
work in place another 1590 earlier spell from English spelling to take place, substitute to represent, replace, substitute certain original, see? Oh my gosh, perhaps related to play. Let's read this again. Work in place of another. You see, that's what they did. They went in and took our language and replaced it with theirs. You get it? 1590s, earlier spell from Old English, spell them to take the place, to substitute, represent, and see, and this is what they did globally, substitute of cert uncertain origin. This is what they did. They went in and substitutes what we had in our language and put theirs in. Perhaps related to play. Okay? See, we got to read between the lines here. 1620s, to turn a work into another. This is what they did with the Holy Bible. You know? The King James Version. And it's weird that they used 1500s, 1600s. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, this is around the time that the King James Bible came out. And this is when they did created this whole changing and shifting of words and old English and uh, taking out what they don't agree with and putting in what they so, and also intensifying with the words that will keep you sleep and never wake up while they continue to do what they want to do here. Okay, what better way? And it says, from form compared to Old English, to substitute, uh, a substitute, and this is what I'm saying. <laughs> you see a lot of words, they're saying substitute, substitute. This is all they did is take what the original and substitute it with their own. As its meaning shift towards continuous course of work, probably via notion of shift of work, the man crew regularly spelled another, hence continuous stretch of something, weather, and see, to keep it going, in other words. They've been doing this for hundreds and hundreds of years and it's for centuries, and they don't want it to stop, but their time is coming. And it's, it says recorded in 1728. Hence, also via the notion of via the spell 1750, relived, um, yes, uh, and of course, another by taking turns of work came to sense integral best realization, which took the word to a sense opposite what it had at the start. And see, <laughs> the opposite of what it had from the start. You get it? They took the original and put in the opposite of what the original was. And this is pretty much what they're doing with spelling. Spell. And they're teaching the kids this in school. And they don't tell you the origins of these words and where they come from and what it really means. They just come up with random words to to cover up the fact what spelling really means. And so that's why I was saying with you all, uh, we're spellbinding every day. And we don't even realize it. And it starts when we're in school, when we're children, you know? When we start kindergarten, pre-K, you know, you learn at a very age this, this foreign language, this foreign strange language, which is English. And it's filled with all of this. This medieval, um, paganistic type language that, you know, and, and they knew exactly what they're doing because during the slave trade and when they first came here and claimed they explored and they claimed they discovered, which they didn't, can't discover anything where there's people already there. You know, you were just a late bloomer. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. You were late to the game. And you mad because everybody knew stuff for you because you were in the caves. You were somewhere else. And we're definitely not here. You're a new race of people. But anyway, I wanted to share this with you all. I hope you all see what I'm talking about. You know, that's why I say be careful what you say. 
learn the origins of these words and before you speak them out into the universe. You know what you're saying. You can bring in positive flow of energy to anything that you're doing. And people don't realize that words are very powerful. Speaking them and writing them is very powerful. That's why we got to have a better understanding of what, what actually took place. But, um, yeah, this is the ending of my video. Um, and I hope that it reached everyone. And, uh, yeah. And, like I said, I'm got to also connect with the Most High to have more clarity and more understanding as to what is going on and what's being said and connecting to our indigenous roots. And I want to say our chair, hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I had to say that. But, you know, that's why it's important that we connect to who we really are and understand this foreign language, this foreign strange language and what's being used. And like I said, this is what's going on. We don't understand what we're speaking into the universe. And that's why it's very important that we understand what we're speaking to the universe, what we hear. That's why I mentioned another video about this, the right kilohertz um, of level range of music, what you're listening to and what you um, put into your mind, what you bring in. And and because like I say, everything's from within out. And, you know, and sometimes we bring in certain things. And that's why it's important to be careful what you, you know, how you project yourself and speak out into the universe. You know, have a better understanding of what you're speaking and communicating out. And I think this is how a lot of the problems that we face today, um, not understanding uh, what we're dealing with, you know? And according to biblical texts that we're in the belly of the beast. And in order to understand living in this world, this society, as we wake up, what we're dealing with, you know, we got to look past the illusion and see what we're dealing with. And one way is to understand this foreign language that we're speaking, the ins and outs, and understanding that we need to reconnect to our own ways back to the ancient South ancestors. But till next time, peace, family, love and peace. And yes, and so it is. <laughs>